Hello grade 10 students, andito si Teacher V para i-guide ka sa pagsagot mo ng mga learning tasks sa ating learners packet. So quarter 4, week 1 na tayo, konting-konti na lang at matatapos na natin ang school year. Pero bago tayo pala mag-start, meron na akong nagawang mga videos na nag explain kung paano mag-compute ng quartiles, deciles, and percentiles sa aking playlist. So, check nyo na lang at ilalagay ko yan sa ating description box below. Pati na rin sa comment section. Para kung gusto nyo pang mas marami pang matutunan about measures of position, pwede nyo dito mag-view or mapag-aralan. Pero sa ngayon, focus muna tayo sa mga learning tasks na nandun sa inyong learner's packet. Alright, so learning task number one, which of the following measure of position illustrates the equivalent of second quartile? So, para mas madali nating masagutan ang question na to, let us recall yung tungkol sa quartiles. Ang second quartile natin, when it comes to percentile, is also equivalent to the 50th percentile. Okay, kasi nga, maaalala ninyo na yung second quartile is also what we call the median or yung middle score na matatagpuan sa data natin. So, sa percentile, dahil hinahati niya into 100 equal parts yung ating distribution, Yung 50th percentile is the second quartile also. Okay? Pagdating naman sa decile, 5th decile, yung katumbas ng second quartile and 50th percentile. Next question. Ash is the fourth tallest in the group of 10. It means that 60% of the students are shorter than him. Which, which measures of position is being illustrated by the given situation? So, drawing tayo ng illustration. So, according dito sa data natin, 60% ng students shorter than him. So, siya yung fourth tallest, pero yung 60% ng students mas mababa sa kanya. So, ibig sabihin, 60% below, ibig sabihin nun, nandito tayo sa sixth decile. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin fourth decile kasi less than. 60% yung less than. Okay? So, we can say that the measure of position here is on the sixth decile. Number three. So, the scores of the students in their math quiz were 20, 28, 23, 15, 33, 40, 35, 28, and 18. Which of the following illustrate measures of Position. I-try natin kunin ang third decile gamit itong data natin. First, kailangan muna natin isulat yung mga data natin into lowest to highest. So, inayos ko lang yung score, so 15, tapos sa dulo yung pinakamataas, 40. Then, nilagyan ko lang ng labeling para malaman ko kung ano yung first data, second data, third data, hanggang ninth data. Alright, now... Kunin natin yung third decile. So, position of third decile. To get the position of our third decile, we have to use the formula. And that is 3 over 10. Kasi third decile, kaya 3 over 10. Then, multiply natin sa 10. Bakit naging 10? Kasi meron tayong 9 na n. So, yun, 9 yung data natin. Dagdagan mo ng isa. So, 9 plus 1, that is 10. Saka mo i-times ngayon sa 3 over 10. O, madali na lang itong masolve. Pakikita natin na ang position ng third decile natin is 3. Then, dahil alam na natin yung position ng ating third decile, tingin na tayo ulit sa data natin. Hindi pa kasi ito ang ating third decile. Ito pa lang yung position niya. Alin sa mga data natin yung nasa pangatlo? Alright, so makikita natin na ang third score is 20. Therefore, ang ating third decile is equal to 20. Number four. So next is yung decile. Tandaan lang natin pag sinabing deciles, the nine score values that divide the distribution into 10 equal parts. Okay, so nahahati. Nahati ng decile yung ating distribution into 10 equal parts. Samantalang sa quartiles, Dini divide naman niya yung ating distribution into four equal parts. Pag percentiles, di divide niya into 100 equal parts. During the month of February, Dr. Cruz recorded the number of COVID-19 patients who came in the hospital each day. The results are as follows. So we have this data, so yung number ng COVID patient ng month of February. So you can see na yung problem na binigay ko dito is almost the same sa inyong learner's packet, pero... Tignan nyo yung data, medyo binago ko or iniba ko. Kaya, 
make sure na yung data na gagamitin ninyo is kung ano talaga yung nakalagay sa inyong mga learner's packet. Okay? Again, this is just a guide. Yung ginagawa ko dito is guide nyo lang para alam nyo kung ano yung gagawin ninyo. Okay? Now, una natin gawin is we're going to arrange from lowest to highest yung data. So, magsisimula tayo sa 6, which is yung pinakamababang uh, number ng COVID patient, 6. Then, ang pinakamataas niya is 18. Tapos, sa bandang baba, bakit may numbering? So, nilagyan ko lang ng label para alam ko yung first, second, third data, fourth data, and so on. Okay? Pero kahit hindi nyo naman na yun isulat. First, kunin natin yung first quartile o yung lower quartile. So, ang gagamitin natin formula is K over 4 times the sum of N and 1. So, K over 4 kasi ito ay quartile. So, tandaan sa quartile, hinahati niya yung ating distribution into 4 equal parts. So, over 4 ang gagamitin natin. And then, ang K natin is 1 kasi first quartile. So, 1 over 4, then it times natin sa 12. Since ang ating data is 11, dagdagan natin siya ng 1. So, 11 plus 1, that is 12. So, 1 4 times 12, the answer is 3. So, ito pa lang yung position niya. Tingin tayo dito sa ating data, alin yung pangatlo sa data natin? Okay, ang pangatlo is yung 10. Kaya ang final value ng ating first quartile is 10. Next, kunin naman natin yung fourth decile. So, decile, kaya ang formula na gagamitin natin, k over 10. Okay, kasi hinati niya yung ating distribution into 10 equal parts. So, k over 10. Then, ganun pa rin, meron pa rin tayong n plus 1 dito. So, 4 over 10 times 12 is equal to 4.8. So, i-round off na lang natin. So, 4.8 is 5. So, ibig sabihin, nasa 5th position yung ating 4th decile. So, ano ba yung pang 5? 11. So, ang final value is 11. Next is 55th percentile. So, pag percentile, over 100 naman ang gagamitin natin. So, K over 100. So, 55. So, yun yung, yun yung K natin. 55 over 100 times 12. So, ang sagot is 6.6. One natin 6.6. So, nasa lagpas kalahati na siya. So, round down. So, 55. So, lagpas na ng kalahati. So, hindi na natin i-round up. Instead, round down. So, nasa 6th position yung pipiliin natin dahil 6.6. So, round down, magiging 6. So, ano yung pang 6 position? So, makikita natin na yun ay 11. Next, punta na tayo sa pang 4, third quartile. So, 3 fourths naman ang gagamitin natin. 3 over 4 times natin sa 12. Ang sagot doon ay 9. So, alin ang pang 9 position dito sa ating data? Pang 9 yung 15. So, the answer or the final value of our third quartile is 15. And lastly, punta na tayo sa 7th decile. So, 7 over 10 kasi decile so over 10 times 12. Ang answer is 8.4. Simply 8 na lang, round down. 8. So, ang pang 8th position natin is 13. So, ang 7th decile is 30. Ayun. Okay, so tandaan lang natin itong formula na to para sa ating measures of position. Kapag quartiles, k over 4, tapos n plus 1. Pagka deciles, k over 10, then times natin sa n plus 1. Kapag percentiles, k over 100 times n plus 1. Tignan tayo, let's sa susunod kong video regarding measures of position. Pupunta naman tayo sa group data. I hope na nakatulong ang video ko sa pagsagot nyo ng inyong mga learning tasks at kung nakatulong ito, mag-iwan ng comment sa baba at mag-share sa mga kaklase ninyo para matuto din sila sa math. See you again sa susunod. Bye-bye!